Hello there, my loves. You join me once more today in Rome uh, on the tale of uh, Marie. What's she called? Oh, yeah. Hello there, my loves. You join me today in this quiet little back street in Rome, hot on the tale of Anne Maria. The bitch. Uh, potentially. <laughs> I've got a cup of tea. And I've got some more blue cheese on crackers, so prepare yourself for a bit of crunching. So let's crack on. Let's see how we do. Nico, I still can't really believe we're back working together. <clears throat> no, it's isn't it wonderful? Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? Good what lord. Do you need, George? <laughs> Nothing. Just wanted to look at your tits, <laughs> George. George. Okay, we've got some pigeons here. That's wonderful. Hmm. See, I wish we could change the camera and look around. Um, I know some of you commented on one of the other videos. Um, I, I agree, it's kind of poor that you can't do that. Hmm, a priest. Hmm. Wearing pink gloves. Now, that's not something you see every day. I suppose not. Excuse me. Hello there. I'm George Stoborn. Hey, it's Irish. Two B's, two T's. The name's Mark. Brother Mark. Apartment 07. Licensed to sweep, huh? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yes, that's me to a T. Something of a movie fan, are you? Nothing I like more than watching an action hero in action. Yep, those guys perform miracles, don't they? Miracles? Oh, well, you know. So... <laughs> what can I do for you? Good question. No idea. Okay, let's ask him about the pink gloves. That's a fine pair of gloves you got there. Sure, even a man's hands chafe during housework. Interesting color. I know. Very bold. Very aggressive. But I can't change my nature, George. Yep. They say we speak the same language, but we don't. Not one bit. Mm hmm. <laughs> Golf club? What do you think of this, huh? Very clever. I invented it. It's telescopic. Clearly. I see you're a fan of the bimatrix shaft. Hey, now you're talking my language. Mm-hmm. So, what do you do, Mark? I'm a priest. At least, I'm going to be. I'm a trainee. A novice. I thought you looked too young to be a priest. <laughs> well, thanks. You don't look so bad yourself. What a nice guy. Really <laughs> friendly. I think the priest may like boys. So not young you ones. Become a priest? That's a personal question, George. And I hardly know you. Secretive, huh? <laughs> Sensible. Next thing I know, you might be trying to steal the secrets of the church. So the church has secrets, huh? Oh Death yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I wonder if you can help us. We're looking for an apartment. One two eight Vicolo Survey Smerite, number eight. Well, isn't that a coincidence? It's right there, and I'm next door to number eight myself. Indeed, I know the lady who owns it. Do you mind me asking what your business with her might be? Oh, uh, we're renting the place from her. All the hotels are booked up. Lies. See. Of course, with Il Papa's ecumenical service only days away, that's hardly surprising, is it? Yep, that old ecumenical service sure is as popular as ever. And yet, this is his first. We knew that. We knew that. That's why we're here. <laughs> Il Papa's first. Go, Papa. <laughs> well, enjoy your stay. And don't you worry. I'll be keeping a sharp eye out on you. Well, you know. So, tell me. Your neighbor, Anna Maria? You know her quite well, do you? Oh, yes. Very pleasant girl. Not that I see much of her. How do you mean? She's never home for long. Bit of a jet setter, if you ask me. Any idea what she does? I might and I might not. And if I did, I'm not sure I'd tell all and sundry. Oh. Very wise. So, you're into conspiracy theories, huh? Big Brother is always watching. As they used to say at the monastery. No, I don't recall anyone ever saying that. What I mean is, people are often not who they say they are. Take that tramp, for instance. Well, he sure smells the part. 
Smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Trump? Hmm. A priest with trust issues. Interesting. So I guess he's referring to this chap over in the distance who we haven't actually seen yet. And now the priest is sweeping George's leg in a suggestive manner. <laughs> okay. One two eight Vicolo Serve Smerite, Anna Maria's apartment building. Hmm, nice plant. Really is, isn't it? <clears throat> a fine native Italian shrub. Well, there might be a hidden key or something. Um, I kind of want to check out the tramp before we go in here. I, I don't suppose we'll be able to get in initially, but I don't want to run the risk of uh, jumping the gun, shall we say. Hello, look, there's a sparkle there. Right, we got something to do with that car, but let's have a look at this tramp. Hello, what's that? Bread. A green and unpleasant chunk of mouldy bread. Yep, I'll have that. Are you doing what I think you're doing? What's that? <laughs> Trying to take my bread? I can't help it. Find your own bins to raid, matey. That's mine. He's got a fine beard on him. Um, looks like Fagan from Oliver. Right, hello. We've got an intercom there. Oh my Christ. Battery's gone on my uh, mouse. One moment. I've been charging them. Oh. Always prepared. Aha, right, that's done the trick. Um, right, so we've got an intercom there. Let's have a little chat with him. Let's have a look at him first. Oh, he smells like a brewery. No, worse. Like a brewery bathroom. Oh dear. Interesting. The guy's been hypnotized by Nico's butt. <laughs> Extraordinary. Excuse me. No, 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 no. No, excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm George Stobart. Well, somebody has to be. And you are? The Right Honourable, the Viscount Lonsdale. But you can call me Lord Lonsdale. Or my Lord. Or just Lonsdale. Or Archie. Whatever pulls your goat. Hey, what? So, we've travelled all the way to Rome. Um... And the first person we meet is Irish, and the second one's uh, Englishman. Let's ask about the bread. Don't you have any better food than that mouldy piece of bread? This is full of goodness, dear boy. In the desert, we used to eat fine wheat cold bread and, and boil our socks. Hell. He's looking at that piece of ass he wants to eat. Oh my god, sorry. What do you make of this? This monstrous. What is it? It's an extendable golf club. Extendable? Well, well what on earth for? So it fits in your pocket. Right, if you don't mind my saying so, oh boy, you need to get out more. <laughs> That's a fact. What do you make of Brother Mark? Brother Looney, more like, thinks I'm some sort of special forces soldier. I mean, me. <coughs> me? I can't see it myself. 
Exactly. I'm clearly off the material. His eyes are laser focused on Nico's um, ass. So there's no love lost between you two. Oh, I like to wind him up, don't you know? Gets all flustered and flaps his gloves. So what exactly do you do? Old trick I picked up at Sandhurst. Attack the core to break the bat. Or, or is it the other way around? Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, you're British. Very astute of you, young <laughs> Gary. Quite the bright spark for a yank. Well, I did excel in most of my classes, except cookery. Well done. Excellent. Of course, I never went to school. No need. Lonsdale's got all they need up top at birth. <laughs> so why are you in Rome, Archie? This is a long story, Gregory. It's <laughs> George. So it is. Anyhow, a few years back, I was doing my party trick on the streets of Paris. Uncle Archie the Juggling Clown. Lovable, lovely, lovely Archie. Then, one day... What happened? Oh, Jimmy Two Feet, that's what happened. Corby was the proverbials down and, uh, And? Blackmailed <laughs> me. Uh, then, he, then he blackballed me. Never got over it. Destroyed my very soul, don't you know? <laughs> For God's sake. So, are you a real Viscount? Oh, 148th in line to the throne of England, I think. Royalty, no less. I'm honored. So you should be, Giles, me old bucker. Hmm. Okay, he's definitely off his rocker. But I think we might be able to distract him using Nico, perhaps. So we could steal his bread for no reason whatsoever. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Hmm. Oh, Christ. Yes, start with the mouldy bread. Moldy bread. Yes, George. Could you get it for me? I'm not stealing food from a tramp. <laughs> if you want it so bad, get it yourself. Okay, only asking. Rats. The <clears throat> tramp over there believes he's a Viscount. Oh, yes? He's had one bottle too many. I think he passed that stage around 40 years ago. <clears throat> Brother Mark's really friendly, isn't he? Only to you, Georges. I think you have a new friend. Well, I not guess in a wink. a lovable kind of guy. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Last time I take you on a surprise vacation. Okay, so this could very well be a red herring, this piece of bloody bread. But what I will try is trade him up with a nice fat sausage. No way am I doing that. <laughs> For God's sake. Right, forget it. Um, right, let's see if we can... Talk to someone in here. Looks like a door phone. I wonder who lives in this street. Right. Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's try it. Let's try the button. Hmm. Yes? Excuse me. Have you ever heard of Vicolo Service Marite? Maybe. Maybe not. But isn't this street called Vicolo Service Marite? Then why ask? Stop <coughs> bothering me. Something tells me we, we have to keep pressing that buzzer, but let's just have a little look around elsewhere. Oh. Hmm. Just be careful around that car, please. You sure love your car, huh? What a shine. Oh no, it's THE car. From my favourite action film of all time, In Cold Blood, starring Lucy Chu. Wow. Hmm. Yes, wow. It was driven by Lucy Chu in a scene which was kept back for the special DVD. It must mean a lot to you. If anything happened to it, I think I'd die. Or worse. Right, so we've got to... I'm assuming we're not going to be able to get in there until uh, the priest has buggered off. Let's have a give, give it a go. Yeah. Can I help at all? No, I'm fine. Just trying to get inside. Well, <laughs> there's a little hint. Keys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of idiot am I, huh? I wonder, what kind are you? How rude. 
Okay, dokey. Right, so, right, we've got a couple of options here. And I'm. Yeah, look at this. Right. That looks like bird droppings here. That's what I'm thinking. Wait a minute, can we. No, it's all one thing. But I'm thinking if we could steal the bread, put the bits of bread on the car, birds come, shit on it. Other option is to give him the picture of um, Lucy Chu. Um, try that first. I don't think that's too obvious. Hi, Mark. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, George, any time. Uh. Mm, that won't work here. W what? Really? For God's sake. Okay, it's going to be about getting this um, bread, I, I guess. I hope. Let's try again. Let's try the <clears throat> button. <clears throat> yes? Excuse me. Have you ever heard of Vicolo Service Marite? Maybe. Maybe not. Ugh. But isn't this street called Sloppy. Vicolo Service Marite? Should have had a then why ask? an Don't alternate for me. the second press. <sighs> not good. Not good. Right, let's talk to him again. There might be another way. Hello again, Archie. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, Georgie, my good fellow, nothing. I mean, anything. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you know about Mark's car? Gets more attention than I've had hot women. Or is that dinners? If anything happens to it, the poor chap falls apart, comes to pieces. Tiny, tiny pieces. Yeah, look, there's more bird shit around here as well. So we definitely, we need that bread. Um, I'll try and take it again. And you've got to, you've got to go through the motions of this game. I've told you once. Sorry, force of habit. Okay, it's got to be Nico. I mean, she's the only one that can turn his gaze elsewhere. Hey, Nico, <clears> give me a hand. What do you need, George? Have you seen Mark's pride and joy? I'd rather have the Trebby from Prague. Yeah. Hey, remember that guard? Oh, thanks. I can still taste the garlic. That was hmm. a long time ago, huh, Nico? Yep. So what about the car? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got cult status. For what? Being the worst car in the world? Well, he doesn't <laughs> think so. Hmm. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Yes, I'm one step ahead of you there, Nico. But um, unfortunately, we've got to go by the rules of the game. Uh, and they're not playing ball at the moment. Uh, right, so maybe let's key it. <laughs> oh, he's not going to let us touch. No, he's looking at it already. Maybe we've missed something else. It's unlikely, but well, it's, it is actually very likely. Hello, there's another one here. Right. Let's try this one. Let's try the button. Yes. My God. Excuse me, I'm in need it's the of same assistance. Voice. Do I sound like a tourist information to you? Mm. Uh, no. I mean. Good day. All oh, right. Not very friendly around these parts. Okay, we can't go much further without him getting his map out. Um. Okay, that's the address. There's another door there. We can't access it. Hmm. Not quite sure what to do here. What? Excellent. Now I've got a slice of salami. Mm hmm. Let's put it on the car. <laughs> I've got no reason to try that. All right. Give him, give him a slice. That's not the right approach. Right, we need that bastard bread. Um, ah, there's another intercom. <sighs> Let's 
Let's try the button. Yes? <laughs> Excuse me. Have you ever heard of Vicolo Service Marite? Maybe. Maybe not. But isn't this street called Vicolo Service Marite? Then why us? Oh my what Christ. It's the same one as the other one. This is... I mean, it could be a joke that they're all the same person all saying the same thing, but I think it's just bloody sloppy, personally. Um... Yeah, so we know what we need to do, but how the hell are we going to do it? Let's put the sausage on there. That's Let's go not full ball. Such a good no. idea. Um, hmm. Let's try the rosary on the uh, priest. Hi, Mark. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, George, any time. Mm, that won't work here. <sighs> oh, fuck's sake. Nico. Hey. What the hell have I just done? <laughs> That's not quite right. Okay, the fact that we've got Nico on our thing here suggests we use her in some way. But what the hell would that be? What the hell does that... That's not the right approach. <laughs> I'll tell you what, can we uh, use our PDA in any kind of way? <laughs> Still call the guard. I'm going to do that just for shits and giggles. Who is this? Stop ringing me. That phone call would cost a bomb from uh, Rome. Mm -mm. Is there anything we can connect to? No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's try and call Anna Maria. The number you require is no longer available. Yeah, she's dodgy, all right. Um, right, let's call Nico next. <laughs> yeah, I'm a naughty bugger. That would have been funny. They should have put that in. Um, I'm out of ideas already. Can you believe it? Um, That's got to be the cleanest, tiniest car in the whole world. So, this is Mark's star car. Driven by the famous Lucy Chu. That's why it's in such good condition. Hint, hint, hint. Um, That's very much like the car I've got, except mine's silver. And it's an absolute bastard. Uh, right. Where should I go? Oh, hell. Look at all these other places. Surely we can't go there. I've got a feeling there's something I still want to do. And then the map takes fucking forever to go away. Okay. Um... I mean, can we pick the lock? I, I mean, it's got to be the car messing the car up, but no way. <sighs> Lord, gotta get that bastard bread. I tell you what. I tell you what. That's not the right approach. I don't understand what that means. Nico, I still can't really believe we're back working together. Why is she in the inventory? Uh, fucking hell. <coughs> hey, Archie, uh, can you spare a minute? I you will cheat soon. My good fellow, nothing. I, I mean, anything. So he's distracted by her. I mean, he's looking at her now, actually, so I might be able to do it. No. <laughs> I told you once. 
Sorry, force of habit. Tell you what, I'll just wait here. Hopefully Nico will walk around a bit. Yeah, if I go here. Nico, come on. She's not playing ball. That's no good, is it? <clears throat> what do you need, George? Stick your ass in that bloke's face. Oh man. Ah, oh, shit. Hi, Mark. Uh, can you spare a minute? For you, George. Any time. What the? Where's all this come from? Did I not try to talk to him again? Oh my god. The main door to the apartment block is locked. I, I don't suppose you have a key, do you? I do, but I don't lend it out. Maybe you have a spare? I do, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. Am I going crazy here? I'm pretty sure we went back to him and he had nothing to say. <sighs> Mark, I've got a little something I know you're going to like. Yeah, I tried that already. Oh, George, aren't you the dark horse? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, I have here a photograph of Lucy Chu. Oh, George, it's heavenly. I'm aching with jealousy. Oh, quickly, Lord, forgive me. I wouldn't bank on it, Mark. This game is... <sighs> What's so special about In Cold Blood? Oh, it's a high-octane ride into an awesome world of kitsch. Sounds amazing. It is. And possibly one of the most accurate depictions of undercover work ever. I can't believe a man of the cloth has a thing for an actress like Lucy Chu. She's strong, George. A woman to aspire to. Uh-huh. She knows her own mind and takes no nonsense from men. Respect. There's God, and then there's Lucy Chu. But wasn't she in that dodgy French movie, The Housemaid's Knee? <laughs> and didn't she... Despise the sin, George. Not the sinner. <laughs> Did she what? So what other movies do you like? Oh, Fly Hard, Bad Lads, The Bold Complacency. But there's still not a patch on In Cold Blood. So why become a priest? I abhor violence. Of course. Hmm. So what's the deal with Archie over there? Mm. Lecherous old miser. Of course, that could be just a cover. For what? He could be working for MI5 or 6, or the agency. The world's full of spies, you know. You think so? Open your eyes to the interweb, my friend, and find out what's really happening in the world. Aha! Well, maybe I'm a spy. I hardly think so. But look at Archie, a panther, poised for action. He's got the 3,000-yard stare. I think that's the 3,000 proof stare. <laughs> Never trust a man who only washes once a year. Okay, so we've got a bit more dialogue out of the priest, but um, let's try talking to the, the tramp again. Hello again, Archie. Uh, can you spare a minute? This you game is vexing like me. Good fellow. Nothing. I, I mean, anything. Right, hello. Brother Mark says there's a spare key for that block of flats. I don't suppose you know where it's hidden. Oh, yes, the key. Yes, I, I know where the key is, all right. <laughs> well, well, what? Where's the key? The key? Well, where it always is. You fool, under the plant pot to the left of the doorway. Okay. But you won't get it. He's damn cunning, that priest. We'll see. Hey, Archie. You seem a little distracted. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah. Blah. You seem to like my friend over there. Oh, what a girl. <laughs> Face of an angel and the body of a Valkyrie warrior maiden. Lucky it's not the other way around, huh? It reminds me of my good lady wife. Oh, did something bad happen? Monte Cassino happened, old boy. Winter of 43. Me and General Lee up against Kesselring. 
two against one? Good odds. I was the outsider. Caught a blighty one. <laughs> Never made it home. Hey, that's tough. Getting wounded. Wounded? Don't be silly, no? I got, I got drunk. I, I ran off with a nurse and opened the bar in Palermo. You are all heart, Archie. Yeah, all heart, no liver, to be precise. Okay, so that's back in 43. So he must have been at least 20, perhaps. Um, and this has got to be past 2000. So that makes him around, what, 80? <laughs> Over 80. He's doing quite well for that. Right, okay. Yes, we've got something to do now. Hey, get your hands off my shrubs. I didn't touch your shrubs. Well, anyone could see you want to. I've got to find a way to distract this guy. Okay, full disclosure. Earlier, I had to look this up, and I saw in the long play someone had tried to move the plot plant, plant pot. And I thought, how the hell did you do that? And it's because we didn't get the line of inquiry about the key from him. And I don't know whether that's a mistake with the game, or I didn't go back talking to him. I'll have to look later. You probably know better than I if you're watching this. Um, anyway, uh, we need to distract him. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? I also what saw this. You, <laughs> you know, Archie appears to have taken a bit of a shine to you. You distract him while I try and steal his bread. So it's come to this, huh, George? That's the well, that, I had this idea anyway, so that's no big deal, but... <laughs> Say that's too far. Even for Uncle Archie. <laughs> huh? Oh, can't a girl have a bit of fun anymore? That's too bad. The hell was she doing? Well, that didn't work. Well, I'll try. I've told you once. Okay, Sorry. so this is all a red herring. So we've got to get her to uh, distract the priest instead. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? <sighs> what do you need, George? Would you try and charm Mark to see if you can get us into the apartment? How do you mean? You know, use your feminine wiles to get the key to the apartment block. You really think it's going to work on him? Duh, he's a guy, isn't he? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, he's distracted. Well done, Nico. The bread is now mine. What a <sighs> demented way of doing it. Um. <laughs> A large, stale, mouldy piece of bread. Right, I think we know what to do now. But just for shits and giggles, I'm going to try and talk to him about the bread I've just stolen. Hello again, Archie. <laughs> uh, spare a minute? For you, Georgie, my good fellow, nothing. I mean, anything. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hmm. Do you think you could help me distract Mark while I get the key? I, I would, Jeffrey, I, but I do believe... I've owed on the old laughing juice. <laughs> I haven't felt my legs since Tuesday. Or maybe you're scared, huh? S scared? And I'm 85. Me, sir? Never, sir. I, I, I'm a leader, dear boy. And, and, and a leader commands from the safety of the hilltop. <laughs> the safety of the bottle, more like. Hmm. Okay, anyway, we don't, need, we don't need him anymore. Right, let's put the plan into action. That we wanted to do earlier. It's a cheap trick, but it ought to work. And yet the priest lets him do that. <laughs> oh no! My Lucy! My little Lucy! Go on! Shoo! Get away! That'll keep him busy. 
Those pigeons are hardcore. What the hell is he doing? <sighs> okay, let's move this plant pot. Boom. Here it is. <laughs> I'm going to go back and show him the key. Mm, that won't work here. <laughs> I'm a devious bugger. Right. Here we go. That was far longer than it should have been. Stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I think we've established I'm not keen on this game, or well, the way it's been constructed. Double doors out onto the terrace overlooking the street. Okay, let's go out. Hmm. Nico, I'm going outside to have a look around. Oh. You wait here and watch the corridor for anyone coming. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Have we got a problem here? <laughs> you want to try asking instead of telling for a change, George. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. What would you like to do, Nico? How about I wait here and watch the corridor? Well, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Can we do a spot of climbing? Yes, we can. But why the hell are we doing it in the first place? Let's just do it. Bloody hell, this is dodgy. Right, so we can't go that way. There's a crack there. So over this way. I'm assuming that other door that I didn't bother trying, you can't get into. I guess. Yeah, so that would be her room, I guess. It's locked. Locked. Can we get oh my god, we can go up there. No idea what we're up to here. <laughs> Again, reminiscent of the first Broken Sword game, but he wasn't doing anything quite this athletic. Just on the, the ledge of the Hotel Ubu. Okay, we're on the other side now. What the hell? There's a bloody nun there. What the hell? Is she coming round to open the door? No. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing? Um, window cleaner? Where's your bucket? I'm doing the recce. If you're the window cleaner, I'm the Virgin Mary. Well, I'm a believer. Come on, out before I call the police. Now stay out. Shit. Matey down there is completely out of it. Yeah, so we just got to be quicker, I think. Right, come on. Ah, oh, we can do it already, yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Micro. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um. Hello there. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You again? Uh, yes. About that bucket. Do I look like I care? Well, you are in a caring profession. Wrong answer. Now out. Now oh, rats. Get ready, everyone. Get ready. Well, don't do it yet, you fucking muppet. No offense. Right. Ah, uh, last time I think we knocked. What did we do here? We tried the door. That probably 
does it. Yeah. Quick. Yes, 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 yes. Quick, 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 George. Quick, Georgie. That's more like it. Quick! Go for that. Alright, now what? Can we shimmy across the t here? I guess so. I'm tempted to knock on that one. But, oh my god, is she going to come? Yeah, bugger that. We're doing it. George is really buffed up, hasn't he? I mean, look at him. He's not even breaking a sweat. So is it there? This must be her apartment then. Damn. All that work and the door's locked. There must be a way in. That window, perhaps? Oh, shit. Hmm. Ah, right. Okay, we're looking at stuff. No use. My arms just can't reach that far. Yeah, especially if you don't even stick it through the window. I mean, you're probably trying to grab hold of something else. Um, right, let's, let's use our telescopic doodad. I've got no reason to try that. No? Well, I would have thought it was elementary, dear boy. Um, I've got no reason to try that. George is winding me right, right up here. Okay, there's something there, but we can't pick it up. That's all there is. So that is the clue. We hello, what's that? The bolt for the kitchen door is up, locking it. No wonder the door wouldn't open. Anna Maria is obviously worried someone could get in this way. She's right. Yep. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Stobart Industries is on to another winner. Okay, had the right idea, but yeah, wrong direction. Oh, I'm just gonna let Nico in. Right, let's hunt for clues. Well done, George. Now let's find out who this girl really is. Wait a minute. I'll look around. Oh, good. Uh, right, we've got a little thing there. Another thing there. I've got a clock. Hello. Let me just pick this up. I don't believe it. It's a picture of Anna Maria, dressed as a nun. Cute nun. Ah, uh, very cute. So what's the deal? This nun is <laughs> Anna Maria. No way. Shacked out the other day. This way, very way, in a big way. <laughs> Whoa, you've been dating a nun, George. A nun. Well, she wasn't wearing all that gear when I met her. In some countries, they execute you for that, George. Well, maybe she's not a real nun. Maybe she's at a costume party. Yeah, and those goons who attacked you in New York with the seven dwarves. Okay, you've had your hmm. fun. Now this is serious. Sorry, George. You're right. What's that she's standing in front of? I think it says Memento Mori. Uh -huh. It looks like it could be part of the Vatican walls. Terrific. They go for miles. Yep, they do. We should maybe look for something else to narrow it down. I'll take this. You never know when it might come in handy. Too bad I left the nun outfit back in Istanbul. Might have been useful. Eh, it didn't really suit you. Guess you're the expert. Oh, funny. Very funny. Mm hmm. Okay, so... I mean, on the rosary it said Anna that. Maria's rosary. Yeah. On the back of the cross it says Memento Mori. It's the photograph of Anna Maria dressed as a nun. That makes me a little nervous. Considering what you did with her the other night, you dirty bugger. A simple but beautifully crafted Italian clock. The clock has stopped at 10.10. 10. <gasps> Clue. If Maria hasn't been back here, she'd have wound it up. Excellent deduction, George. And nothing else there. Got a bookcase. Let's have a look at these books. Hmm. Books on religion, science, history... Aspects of heavy metal transmutation. Interesting. Uh, how's that going to help us find her? Hmm. Alchemist. Anna 
Anna Maria must have been reading this before she left. The book's in Italian. I can't read a word. Hmm. That's no bloody good, is it? Okay, they don't want us to go this way. But there's a computer, and you know what's coming here, don't you? Hmm. hmm. Fancy-looking laptop with a DVD drive. Being a nun obviously pays well. Might be high spec, but she still can't set her clock. Hmm. Anna Maria's laptop is very basic. Shortcuts to a video driver and access to the internet. Hmm. Not even any games. <laughs> right. It's PDA time, motherfucker. I guess. Huh? No? Okay. Um... But we can't use it. The thing's got few capabilities. Not much I can do with it. I'm pretty sure there'd be a clue in there. Go through our bloody browsing history or something. Oh dear. Okay, this is a bedroom. <coughs> Shame. That normally works. All oh, right. Empty. None of that's searchable. What about a trapdoor under there? That'd be nice. That looks like a plane ticket. One metro ticket and metro. some pocket lint. Where's the ticket for? Kipro Musee Vaticani Station. Uh, that's somewhere near the Vatican walls, I think. Perhaps that's close to where the photo of Anna Maria was taken. Could be. But not necessarily. Serially. Mm -hmm. I like them, but not that much. What? Slippers say a lot about a girl. I bet they're really comfy. Hang on. What am I thinking? Indeed. Got a Bible. A little light bedtime reading, I see. I guess I'm more of an easy reading kind of guy these days. So maybe Anna Maria is a nun. What have I done? <laughs> Indeed. What did you do, George? Filthy animal. Ah, there's always a bathroom. Always a bathroom. Lovely, let's have a shower. No. It's a faucet. No, it's not a faucet. It's a bloody shower. True pink. Italian craftsmanship. But maybe a little over the top for my liking. Really? Let's turn it on. Hmm. Is that something we can use or is it just for effect? Anna Maria's bathroom scales. <laughs> The voice actor sounded pretty bored then. <clears throat> that sink looks a bit rank. Um, right, so nothing doing here other than the shower, but is there anything we could put in there? Not really. The metro ticket for a stop near the Vatican. Hmm. Should we leave it running? <laughs> yeah, why not? It's a bit naughty doing that, isn't it? But oh, there was another room, wasn't there? The kitchen. Hello. I do like exploring rooms, I do. When it's slightly more self-contained, I don't like it when you've got a great big area to explore. Because you waste a hell of a lot of time just pricking around. I plan seeing better days. Yeah, there's nothing to see here. Except... This. Airline ticket stub. Where from? Phoenix, Arizona. And just a few weeks ago. What was she doing in Phoenix? Nun convention? Oh, very funny. 
Telekinesis power activated. Okay, I think we've probably got all we need here. I assume we can go now. Let's talk to Nico first. Hey Nico, can you give me a hand? Oh hell. What's not a good sign. So what do you think is going on, Nico? You really want to know? Sure. Well, at first I thought you'd been conned into helping some kind of robbery. And now? <laughs> Now I think it's worse than that. Now I think you're caught up in some kind of conspiracy. Illegal shipments, fraud, or worse. Hmm. Last time I asked you for good news. Are those books interesting? Well, they are very technical. You know, Georges, things just don't add up. Are those books interesting? Well, they are very technical. You know, Georges, just don't add up. Hmm, you've said that already. So, what do you think is going on? Oh my on? god. You really want to know? Sure. Well, at first I thought you'd been conned into helping some kind of robbery. And now? Now I think it's worse than that. Now I think you're caught up in some Deja kind vu? of conspiracy. Illegal shipments, fraud, or worse. Hmm. Hmm. Time I ask you for good news. Indeed, right. Fuck off, bye. Right. I guess we can go now. I've got enough information to work with now. Nico, I'm going to follow up this nun lead. Sure. I'll stay here and look through these books. Well, you don't want to come with me? No, thanks. I'll wait here until you get back. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> so you managed to get in then? Yes, thank you. Through the door, I see. Yep. With a key? Uh huh. Oh, the key. You know what? I had it in my pocket all along. I see you've made yourself at home, too. Well, when in Rome. When in Rome? When in Rome, make yourself at home. Hmm. I don't suppose you know when Anna Maria will be back. I have a package for her. Mm -hmm. uh, she could be gone for some time. You'd better give it to me. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I'll keep it for now. Wouldn't like it to fall into the wrong hands. Good day now. Uh, yeah. Have a nice one. Hmm. I think we might have to do a bit of burglary. Um. <laughs> nope. Mark's apartment just doesn't interest me. Ah. Okay, so... I guess we can do... Go somewhere else. Yeah, the, no, it's the, uh, the Vatican, isn't it? So we'll probably stop it here, I think. But let's um, let's head to the next place at, at least. Oh, he's he cleaned his car. Yeah. It's not gleaming now, though. It's been sullied. Where should I go? Here we go. Right, the Vatican. Vatican. I think I'll go to the Vatican. Yeah, why not? Okay, there we are. We'll probably leave it here, I think. See if there's a bit of FMV. So the metro ticket was a clue. Just a short walk and here I am. It's the place in the photograph. I wonder what's behind those walls. A fucking nightmare. Of puzzles <laughs> okay so that's where we are my loves until next time oh, the view is awful isn't it let's just ex just have a look at the wider expanse if it lets us okay that's the entirety we've got a trash can there to explore and a window to peep through and a couple of guards there Lovely. Okay, let's leave it there. Let's get George facing us. Yeah, we made some progress today. Slightly annoying, but not too bad. Um, okay, see you next time when we break into the Vatican. Cheerio!